Codex Sinaiticus is the oldest Bible that has survived. It was written in the 4th century in Greek. It's a snapshot, if you like, of what Christianity was able to do around the middle of the 4th century. It's certainly the oldest complete copy of the Christian New Testament. So it's, it's hugely significant, not just as a, a manuscript or another book, but actually in how it connects with people's faith, their, their, their sort of how they view themselves and their sort of religious beliefs. Um, so it's ultimately the sort of prototype of every Bible that anybody has, whether printed or on screen, whatever. This is the, the granddaddy of them, of them all. It is, if you like, a technological revolution because uh, the shape of literature uh, as an object has changed significantly. It is, it is very different from unscrolling a piece of literature to being able uh, to open a book in the middle, say, and consult a specific passage. The absolute core of, of, of the, the project are the four institutions that hold parts of the Codex. So that's the British Library, uh, the University Library in Leipzig, the uh, Russian National Library in St. Petersburg, and last but not least, the uh, Monastery of St. Catherine in the Sinai. The Codex Sinaiticus is a phenomenal manuscript, because, partly because of its age, given that it's 1,600 years old, and the, the quality of the parchment is phenomenal. The, the key thing about the, the conservation was we only did enough to stabilise the leaves to enable the digitisation. What we did have to do, where we had to make some uh, repairs, they were made, a little bridge was made out of Japanese tissue, and those were all done um, without going over any, anywhere where there was any uh, writing, so we haven't obscured any of the text. We looked very carefully at each page and made sure that it can be safely photographed. And then we used cutting-edge digital technology to photograph each page. We found uh, many, many uh, traits, interesting traits on, on the pages of Codex Sinaiticus. We found wax, we found a fingerprint, uh, and we also found the marks of the production. We do digitization of our manuscripts here on a daily basis. But the challenge was you have four parts of the same manuscript in four different locations. How do you ensure that in imaging those four parts, you don't make them look the same because they have their own history and will undoubtedly have started to look different, but how can you ensure that you capture the image or images of parts of those manuscripts in the same way. It was a very, very, very memorable moment when, for the first time, we brought together the images from the four different uh, locations. And you really felt then the power of what we were doing. Uh, that was an extraordinary moment. And even then, and we could trace the, for example, the stains on, uh, from one location, and there they were mirrored on the leaves of the next location. So that really brought home what we were trying to do. Uh, that was an absolutely extraordinary moment. The whole project is very much, I would suggest, a, a, this combination between um, traditional and then you know, very, very high tech. Having a website that has all the images of all the pages of Codex Sinaiticus uh, and having a project around it like Codex Sinaiticus uh, is not the end of the research, it's rather the beginning of research because it allows for the first time to look across all the pages, to compare them next to each other, to investigate issues that have been raised by the project. There is um, digitization of some manuscripts, but I would say with this degree of um, analysis and examination and detail, um, it's never been done. The website has allowed us to think again about the whole codex. Even in the 1930s, when there was a very new and, and, and cutting edge uh, examination or re-examination of the manuscript, even then they, they were just sort of guessing a bit backwards into what, what might have been at, towards the beginning of the manuscript. Now it seems that we can say 
that before the book of Genesis, in the Codex, there was a whole gathering. In other words, there were about 16 pages which had something on them. And we don't know what it was. Was it, I could speculate, was it a, a grand dedicatory letter to Constantine the Great? But this is the very first time that, that, that I think we can say for certain there was another text or group of texts at the very beginning, before the book of Genesis.